Take Apart the iPod Touch by MacRecycling.com The following tools are required. A small Phillips head screwdriver, a plastic pick or apple plastic tool, a black stick, a very small flathead screwdriver, and a properly grounded wrist strap to protect against damage by electrostatic discharge. This is a close-up of the two screws to remove next. The second screw is hidden beneath the three battery wires, the white, red, and black wires shown here. The two screws just removed are shown here. The thin plastic strip shown here is the two screws are of different lengths. Be sure to put them in the same locations when you reassemble the iPod. The strip can be pried away, like so. Peel the black tape away and take care not to lose the rubber-like pad that will probably come off with it. Remove the two screws indicated here. This is a close-up of the same two screws, which are the same length. Although it is best not to use a metal tool to pry anything on an iPod, a small flathead screwdriver is the most effective tool to use here. Gently pry up the board shown here. It is held in place by adhesive. Once the board at the top is free, lift up on the board at the bottom like so. The board shown here will need to be removed and is secured by adhesive to the front cover of the iPod. The four remaining screws attaching the display should be removed as well. Use the small flathead screwdriver to carefully pry up the board shown here. Once the screws are removed, the display can be lifted up and away. Having loosened the adhesive with the flathead screwdriver, use the black stick to lift the board from the case. The lower board and battery can now be removed from the front cover. Notice the white, red, and black battery wires on the piece just removed, and their solder points on the board. The solder points can be seen on the opposite side of the board, as shown here. Remove the two screws at the upper left of the back case, as shown here. Also remove the two screws at the upper right. Notice that all four screws are the same size. Use a plastic pick to gently lift up on the black plastic piece at the upper right to remove it from the case. The button at the upper left can now be removed.
The small cable shown here is fragile and can tear easily. Take care not to lose the small button and notice its position. Carefully insert a plastic pick under the cable to separate it from the case.